good morning welcome back to another video it is 6 30 on a saturday surprise i'm up i'm not caffeinated yet but yeah, i am in the camera um i'm going to take this time that i have to get my front porch together i got the back one together a couple weeks ago i've really been enjoying it but i have learned it has turned into like a little kid oasis my son and his friends play back there it's very very loud my daughter has like chalked up all the walls we do bubbles daily her water table is out there it has just turned more into like a family area this front one i you know i'm not gonna keep my kids from any area of my house let's be real but um you know i would just like it to have more of a zenful vibe even though we are on the first floor and it is in the front of the house so it's like facing the parking lot where everybody comes and goes at i'm okay with that we have a nice long awning where i can um, lower it and kind of shut the patio off for some privacy now i was planning on doing a dining room table out here so we could just have like some outdoor eating area but i decided against that um also ikea was sold out of the table that i really wanted which i'm grateful for because now i have just switched gears and i'm gonna turn this into um just like a, a very quiet intimate area so i'm gonna get started on it now we'll see how it turns out i hope it turns out for the better i have an ikea trip planned in my near future hopefully in a couple of hours once my kids and my husband are up and moving but here is what i'm working with right now just yikes on a bike we got an extra helmet here we have chairs like camping chairs here there's like leaves from fall some trash some kids threw over here the hot water heater leaked a little bit there so hello sludge and um a christmas decoration so there you have it we're gonna get this space nice and cleared out Get it put together and looking good, and I can't wait. Now that you have seen the tragedy that is my front porch, we're gonna get started. I'm gonna start by clearing off all of the little miscellaneous items here. We've got that one lone Christmas decoration, you know, judgment-free zone. Next, I'm gonna sweep the patio down. This was such a tiny space, so, you know, I really didn't mind just getting in all of the nooks and crannies. Um, Naples is super dusty, so that's most of what I'm clearing off. Now, when I did my back patio, it was the breeziest day that we had had in a really long time, and there was just like dust and dirt and leaves flying all over the place um it has become very hot and humid and the air is very stale so it's like the perfect time and weather to be sweeping up a dusty ass patio Now that I have swept up all of the dirt, I'm gonna use some lukewarm water and a splash of Dawn dish soap to spread on the patio. I have this great rubber broom that has bristles on one side and a squeegee on the other. So I will use the bristles to agitate any stubborn dirt that was stuck on the tile. And then I will use the squeegee to um, remove any of the excess water. I had a new artist here on YouTube reach out to me and ask me to feature his music in one of my videos. That is what you're hearing right now. The beats are super dope. I sent him a message and asked him how to pronounce his name so I don't mess anything up. And here is the voice message that he sent me. Hi, Michelle. My real name is David. And um, I don't know actually how to pronounce this name. I would pronounce it Kumote. Kumote. But I'm not sure. I mean, it means something, but I never said it. <laughs> funny. Don't don't worry. Don't worry. I thought that was too funny. I appreciate his honesty and his music is dope. All of his information is linked down in the description below. But while you listen to this music, I'm going to get to scrubbing this calcium stain.
These are our outdoor water hookups. Some apartment buildings have them, some don't. Some have them in the front and the back or either or. Uh, my building is lucky enough to have them in the front and in the back. Um, I have a neighbor who details cars all of the time and he uses the front hookup and he made that shit look super easy because when I went out there, it was like in a foreign language. I don't know how to use the spout, y'all. So I just hooked the hose up in the back, brought it through the house and through the front door. I'm so glad my husband was sleeping because I don't know if uh if this would have happened had he been awake but there was nobody to stop me and i did what i had to do if you are a spouse of somebody who is gone regularly then you know that we just find a way to get it done like i'm not gonna wait on anybody to do things i'm not gonna call upon anybody i'm just gonna use what i have and make it work somehow In between cleaning and decorating the back porch and cleaning and decorating this porch is when I learned about the hose hookups and I am so grateful. There's so much dirt that I just was not able to get off of this front porch for some reason. So the hose was a really great chaser. Now, while that front patio is drying, I'm gonna dig into some Amazon packages. I have had these stashed away for quite some time. Now, I bought some plants to put on the back patio. Um, they were hanging out in plastic pots and the wind was just crazy on the week that I did this. So um, the plants kept getting knocked over on the back porch. My daughter was digging in the dirt and y'all, they ended up dying. So some of these pots were for that project, but I'm so happy that I was able to get my front porch together in, you know, like sort of a timely manner. And now I can transfer the products that I didn't use in the back porch to the front. This plant stand had me so stumped because I could not figure out what that extra wooden piece was for. Turns out that my package was open when it arrived, so I'm just grateful that it had all of the pieces in it. And it was dealt with so roughly in transit that it broke. That is definitely a chunk that's supposed to be secured to the plant stand already. It sucked that it broke. Uh, I'm definitely not going to send it back because it's a great plant stand and I just don't have the patience to wait. I don't want to wait for the product any longer. Um, I did end up super gluing it together. Worked like a charm. It's great. You can't tell the difference. Um, and everything that you see here that I'm opening, I will leave linked down below. It's all Amazon finds, relatively inexpensive, and they're just adorable. Oh, we're at Walmart. It's like, we're at Ikea. Walmart? It's like the Walmart of Italy, I have learned. Uh, I need to get planners for the patio, a plant stand, and uh, whatever other little things I can sneak in the trunk. So, uh, yeah, we're going to get in here. Oh, no, because they're sold out. They're sold out of the whole set. Uh, I mean, well, we can check because we have to go to the warehouse. But um, we're going to get in here and uh, see what I can find. You ready? You ready to go? Jake let me tear the club up. So now that I'm done doing whatever I want, you ready to go? No, I'm gonna you do ready whatever to I want. <laughs> We're back home. I'm back in my dirty clothes. I'm going to finish up on this patio. We ran to Ikea while the patio was drying. I guess it's as good as it's going to get. I had some trouble getting off this calcium stain. I'm looking into things right now to get it off. I think it's a calcium stain. I don't know. But the gunk, like the stuff on the tiles, is chipping off pretty easy with the old dish brush that I used. But I just don't have another brush, like fresh brush, to go after it right now. I think I'm also going to need a little scraper to get it off. But um, now that we're back and the patio is dry and that calcium stain is just a part of the decor, we're going to get back to it. I was in Ikea for one hour, probably less than, because by the time we got settled in the car and I checked my watch, it was like 
exactly an hour and y'all they just act like they were dying like they were just so fed up with me if you have been to ikea in the states then you know an hour is like unheard of so after we got back and they just let me you know just do whatever i want tolerated things very very well i got back to work i started by laying out this rug this was also an amazon find i love this so much now when i had a table and chairs in mind for like a little dining area outside i knew i wanted to go with a botanical theme I wanted the rug to be like botanical themed and then I wanted to get some plant stands just to go around and you know just grow and nurture something that's not my husband or my children but um you know that ended up not working out because they were sold out of my set and my vision just came to me as I was shopping around I had looked online a little bit before we actually went um, and I just knew what I wanted so I decided to stick with the botanical theme but just make it a little more zenful so I decided to go with floor seating I was looking for a floor table but I couldn't find one I love that little white storage table in the middle of these poofs which is like perfect because I figured that even even if my daughter did make it out there which as you see she already is hanging out just supervising my job but if she did make it out there with a bunch of her toys at least they wouldn't be scattered all over the patio they would have like a designated area to be in and it would be a relatively quick cleanup just pop that lid right off that table and throw her toys right in there now I'm assembling two plant stands here I wanted something that was small and something that was gonna look good inside because my outdoor plants they're just not gonna survive outside um when the weather turns cold so i needed something that was just gonna you know vibe inside while also being durable enough to last This was easily the worst time I have ever had assembling IKEA furniture. I don't know what it was about these. I was just, I think I was just in a rush. It was hot. I was ready to take a break. I was ready to just, you know, move along with the project. And I kept making like simple mistakes, like putting the legs on backwards. I was putting bars that look similar in the wrong spot. The furniture was upside down, inside out. Child, any mistake that you can think of that a person would make while assembling furniture I made and I made it several times over it was so frustrating um, my husband and I learned early on in our marriage that this is not something that we can conquer together so asking him for help I mean of course I could have just tapped out and asked him for help but I am just one determined soul once I start something, I got to see it all the way through, no matter how frustrating it is, but um, I got it together. These crates were the hardest thing. They absolutely kicked my ass, but they were really worth it. Before I made my run out of the door to get some plants, I am just furthering my vision here and staging my furniture and my pots just to see, you know, how I like it, what the vibe is going to be, if, you know, like the feng shui is good. I, is feng shui an official thing? I think it really is an official thing. I didn't Google anything. I just did what felt good to me.
made my plant run in the middle of the day. I just was in the store for a long period of time Googling plants that vibe together, what kind of bugs they attracted, what kind of sunlight they needed, just so I can buy things that I know that I'm gonna be able to take care of. Now, since I got the plants in the middle of the day and I got them from the grocery store, you know, they're indoor plants, they're used to being inside. I didn't wanna shock them with the sun. So I decided to just keep them in the shade I also close the awning and I plant them later on in the evening just to get them nice and settled in their new home before they have to deal with the heat of Naples. Leave it to me to buy 100% of the pots from Ikea that have absolutely no drainage holes in the bottom. Like, I would do that. That would be me. I would be attracted to all of those pots. But it was an easy fix. I got a drill bit set from, I think, off of Amazon. I'll find it and link it down below. Um, I originally got this set so we could hang things on our walls in our home. If you're unaware, the houses in Europe are made from concrete and not drywall, so they are a bitch to drill in to um i got this set for that but we have not gotten to it child i really don't even know if we are that's neither here nor there though so the drill bit set was perfect for these i am drilling into metal um ceramic and plastic in this video and i have a drill bit for each project which was great It was almost 100 degrees this day. Just drilling into these pots in the shade. I produced enough sweat to probably water my plants with just that. I should have just, you know, strapped a little bucket around my neck to catch those fluids and reuse them. But now that the holes are in the metal containers that I'm gonna set here on the balcony, it's time to get planting. I used miracle Grow. It's what I grew up with. It's what my mom used and still uses to this day. I know we're, you know, in a new day and age and they make very holistic soils you can buy from different brands and different companies. I am just, you know, finding my bearings with planting and growing things and keeping them alive in dirt. So so um, I hope to branch out for miracle Grow soon, but uh, I just went with what was familiar to me. I normally just use my hands to take dirt and put it into these little like planters, but um, I wasn't aware of like how much I was actually going to plant on this porch. So I might you know, get some gloves and a shovel here. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe this Santa dollar store cup is just gonna be good enough for us. Who knows? The plastic containers hands down the easiest to drill into as you can see i'm using way too much pressure to be drilling in the plastic almost took myself out right there but after drilling into that metal honey i was just conditioned to press hard but i'm gonna get one of my favorite plants in this this is the leopard lily i love this guy look at him he's huge cheese yes hands down favorite plant on the porch
I just knew Jake was going to revoke my power tool privileges then. Like, it just... Can you just see the pot bursting into a thousand pieces? Probably the scariest thing I have put a drill to, like, ever, ever. But it was worth it. It worked out fine. Also, the color on the bottom of those IKEA pots, uh, beautiful. These guys are calla lilies. These are the same plants that I had on the back porch that recently croaked. I felt like I owed it to myself and their ancestors to try and replant them and just see what happens. Wish me luck. I needed an old faithful outside somewhere just to boost my morale. So this is a pothos. These are the first house plants that I have gotten here in Italy or you know in my entire life. And the two that I acquired last year are still kicking. They're still in the house, hanging out, growing like weeds. But these are the first time that I will like I guess is cultivate the word, grow them outside. So you know, fingers crossed for these guys too. I've been at it all day. I'm done. I'm tired. I'm hungry. Um, it is almost nine o'clock and I only have two plants left, but I'm going to call it here. But before I shut things down out here for the night and we pick up tomorrow, I'm going to show you guys some things that I got. So I did some research when I got the plants and I noticed that the ones that I have sitting up here on the railing, these guys here are toxic to kids and pets. That's why they're up here. So Noah can't get them. And, um, we don't have any pets, but there are some stray cats that roam around base. Um, they tend to hop up on the patio regularly, kind of, you know, make their way around, sniff things out, decide if they want to settle here, live here for the, the season. But I don't let them eating the plants. They will basically chew on anything to test and see if it's edible, if it's a food source, if it's a reliable food source that they can continue to come back to. So I picked up these things to keep these guys away. Wait till you see these. I did a lot of researching and found these guys on Amazon. It's uh, animal repellent. It flashes lights and makes sounds, so it's super harmless. Also, me and Jake were supposed to start a garden out front. It didn't end up happening, but I got these, you know, to protect our, our food and produce that we would have worked hard for. But they're gonna come in handy now. You know, I'm not a fan of the stray cats, but I also don't want them to die. I see it said that they're solar powered. But I think there's a spot for batteries here on the back. I got three of them. Lucky me, because I have three toxic plants. So I'm going to get these all set up, and then we'll get them outside. I absolutely love these. All it does is flash a light and play a frequency, depending on which animal you're trying to get rid of. It also has a sensitivity detector, so you can turn that up and down as you see fit. Now this says a frequency two is for cats. Wait until y'all hear this. I thought, I mean, it feels like dumb and dumber. Like you wanna hear the most annoying sound in the world? Isn't that horrible? 
I don't know if it comes across on camera, but it's absolute, it's the worst. It's so bad. All right, that's really it for tonight. So I'll see y'all tomorrow. Just me outside bright and early on a Sunday morning in my Valentine's Day socks, digging in dirt. I'm gonna get these last two plants potted and we are gonna enjoy this space. Now that all my guys and gals are in their new homes, the last thing that I'm going to do for this space is hang up a magnetic screen door. I love, love, love this idea. I used it on the back porch a couple of weeks ago. It's been working like a charm. The only negative to the magnetic door on the back porch is that it blocks one of the doors. We can no longer open both of the patio doors because the adhesive is stuck to the right door. So only the left one has been in use. Now I am lucky enough that our front patio has two ways that you can reach it. You can reach it by double doors that lead into the great room, so the dining area and the living room, and then it has a single patio door that leads directly into the kitchen. This is where I'm gonna hang it up at so we don't use lose the use of the double doors that lead into the dining area it's gonna work out perfectly um, I love it it's like the perfect fit for this area and it's gonna keep bugs out but allow that door to stay open so that my children can come and go I mean my 10 year old obviously he can open doors he's fine there but my toddler can just you know come and go as she pleases I just couldn't help myself and leave this pot empty so later on in the day we happened to go to our first Italian grocery store and I picked up another leopard lily I found just a baby waiting there on the shelf calling my name begging for me to take it home and um, I, I picked up this one and it's beautiful I love it great addition and you know my big guy's got a little partner to grow with now
right, y'all, that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed the patio as much as I do. Don't forget, everything that you see here is linked down below. Thank you so, so much for joining me. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.